Hello guys, my name is Feverish and today I have a gameplay with you with a new submission spec um, after the new patch. Uh, I actually already recorded this once but my recording didn't actually go through so this is going to be a second time you know which can only be better you know I can just improve of what I said. Um, but quickly the spec I'm using is submission which means uh, when I have a bludgeon every time I hit someone uh, I reduce their stamina by 135% which means I can easily catch up to them if they try and run away and I can easily run away if I'm getting low because their stamina is going to be technically zero in like a 10-20 a second fight um, the next perk I'm using is thick skin which means uh, I take 50% less damage from all ranged attacks that means bows, guns and throwing weapons um, this is a to counter specs like golden arm and the new very popular cripple spec with the bow which um, reduces your movement speed to 100% um, that's, and, uh, that's also why I actually don't have bonus movement speed because of that so I um, you know if you if you don't have bonus movement speed the cripple spec with the bow which now you, you can get a perk uh, called cripple or stunner is it called stunner I think it's called stunner um, which we um, which has a chance of 100% crippling you down with uh, like a wounded tendency 1 and that only reduces your movement speed to exactly 100% that means that you can't go above 100% but if you don't have any perks or anything that actually makes you go above it you, you won't feel a difference so um, that's why this spec is also a good counter to that and the last perk I have is uh, recovery so I, so I can you know easily run after people if I'm a little bit low stamina and also if they have submission spec as well it also uh, counters them a little bit because I do have more region so uh, that's the spec at the moment we're gonna let's take a look at it and see how it, uh, it works out so my airdrop is gonna be tough which is uh, the sledgehammer the, um, the body ar iron armor and then uh, and a for, uh, an iron foreskin uh, uh, stem which I can use so quickly I just make a knife even though this is a blockchain spec I really like to have a melee weapon in the start just in case I, I find someone and fight because you can't actually make a bludgeon you can make an axe and you can make a spear and you can make a knife but you can't actually make like a club or something and uh, the sticks and stones don't count as bludgeons anymore um, they just count as crafting materials which basically is nothing so I loot the first building here as anyone would do. I find a bludgeon right away, which is the hammer. It does 7 to 21 damage, which actually is quite a lot for a tier 1 weapon. So that's pretty good. Uh, quickly looking around for like a green crate or something, and then I'm gonna go to the right, to right to the next building. You can actually see a guy entering the building there uh, before. So now I thought I heard something, so I'm just crouching, listening out. I don't really hear anything now. So I'm like, okay, building should be safe. But um, there's a guy in there. So we just start being shit on him. He has a smoke bomb for some reason. And uh, every time someone smoke bombs, they try and hit you, shoot you. Something. So I'm just violently hitting around me, trying to hit him, and it succeeds a lot of times. And now I just, I just rape, rape him. I basically counter every play he does. He gets one hit on me there, and then I, I take the kill. So that was a pretty nice early kill, with uh, almost no effort. And I open the green and I find another bludgeon, which is really good for me. Um, because it does a lot more damage, and now, now I have, uh, I think, a bigger wound contingency with the cripple. So they actually get reduced to more than, like, less than 100% now. I'm not, I'm not actually sure how low, but they, they're going to be pretty slow. We just finish up looting the building, check if there's anything left. Weapon. Gonna take my stone knife back to uh, make a bow later on. And here I actually make a mistake. I try and sell the, the muscle man milk at the healing machine and I realize that. So let's just sell to the right place. Now I don't actually want to use the healing machine here to heal up um, to full health. Because I, if I need 15 health, that's gonna be 5 funk. But for 5 funk, I could get a lot more by just making bandages and they actually only cost 3 funk to get 25 health um, so this saves me 2 funk 
and it also puts me on the move instead of just being stationary up there. So for me, it's, it's just a preference. I like it because you save a lot of fun. And, um, and I, I just find it a lot, a lot better. Just looking around for an airdrop here because my airdrop cost 115 fuck, uh, which was a tough one. And uh, I find a green crate on the way. And some more funk. I always pick it up. It takes half a second and you got five more funk. That's gonna go towards some arrows or bandage, whatever. And we find a bow, which is really nice. I don't actually need the stone knife anymore. And here we try our luck. I think it was pretty close, but not good enough. And now we just keep looking for an airdrop. There's usually one around here, but uh, this time the didn't spawn anyone. And I'm just looking down there to see if I can see one. Now you see, you see that airdrop is at the river, so I thought that somebody used the airdrop down the river. And now I just heard a guy crafting. And you can see him running there. So I try and get up behind him. Uh, but of course he hears me because I don't have stealthy anymore. And I want you to notice the stamina of this guy. Look how look how she's dropping every time I hit him. Like he's on like 50% now, maybe 60 or something. And every time I hit him it goes down by like 15, 20. Get some bleeds in him. I make a mistake there by not switching away from my bow quick enough. So he steals it and manages to, uh, to get a hit. No more arrows, unfortunately. He tries to run away because you know the fight's not going to end well. But look at his stamina. He has much less stamina than me. So there's no way he's going to escape. Like, this is a fight till the end. But he tries to uh, heroic escape. But that's not gonna be. So I quickly take some bandages around me, make some bandages, heal up. You, can, like, you can argue that it, it might be a bit risky to uh, to do this, like to to make to make bandages and heal up, like if someone comes behind you or somebody tries to kill you. And yes, then it, it, it actually is better to use the healing machine. Uh, but I just saw four band saw four bandages around me, quickly male? make the bandages. I didn't hear see anyone around me, so I took the risk. And sometimes you gotta take a risk to win the game. Um, so now we're set. Uh, we need to find an airdrop so we can get the, the sledgehammer out. Even though the, the steel pipe is good, we can get something that's better and looks more cool. And uh, we're just looking for an airdrop. I see one in the, in the river there. Now I thought that that was uh, the other guy uh, before they used it. But it actually is because you can see the blue light over there. Uh, if it's red, it's been used. If it's orange, it's probably a random one or it's being used. But uh, it was blue. And then in the loop, Yana spawned. And here I'm thinking, should I go to that or should I get my airdrop? Now I'm thinking, look how many people that's, uh, that's alive there. Um, if I go there, it's gonna be like a massacre, like a big fight. Because like, a lot of people really like the loop, Yana. And I do that myself. I love running in there and trying to get the crates and get all the guns. Um, but, in but instead, for the sake of of winning the game. I don't go there because I will probably die. I'm pretty far away and there's a good chance someone else is closer and can get the airdrop. Maybe get a gun and then just kill me. And I don't really want that. So um, I, I look at it as an opportunity to get my own airdrop uh, pretty safely because people are gonna go to the middle instead and I, I should be able to get mine uh, pretty easy without any problems. I'll make a quick backpack because I need some space. Make some more arrows before the airdrop comes in. And then we should be able to to get our stuff. <coughs> Sorry. And there it is, the beautiful sledgehammer. Got a stim, we got a sledgehammer, we got a bow, we got body armor. I'm actually pretty confident I can almost kill anyone in the game right now. Um, except for someone with like equal gear. Like, if I get close to them, they're not getting away. They have to fight. And uh, unless they have, like, a katana, something really big, uh, I think I'm gonna kill them. So a lot of people left. I'm thinking I can go to the middle, see if I can salvage some stuff from the loop pinata, or maybe catch catch someone running away with the gear and then just steal it somehow. So we hear a guy. And there he is. Put a bleed in him. I'm trying to I'm trying following him. Uh, I, I lagged there for some reason. I don't know why. 
So we just keep buying. Oh, he's trying to run away, so I just do some arrow shots. Got one in the face. And he pulls out a pistol. And I'm like, okay. I, need, I, I can't make a distance to this guy now. Even though he's like, he has all the stims on. So I gotta stay with him. I keep noticing his stamina, how it goes down every time I hit him. Look, look at that. How can you run away with that? There's no way. So he picks out his gun in a panic attack, knowing that he's probably gonna lose and tries to shoot me. But I'm just too close. And um, we get ourselves a pistol. Now he had a Tansa as well. So um, I was actually wondering where the, uh, the Saber was. Oh wait, no, that's the, that's the Pyron. This is the 5 0 oh, I dropped. Alright, yeah, okay. Alright, so we got the orange juice. Um, we got his gun. I threw away the steel pipe, I used the other thing because the orange juice uh, the, the, like, gives the same buff as well. And now I'm thinking ahead, I need to heal up. I need some armor again because we actually burned down to my iron armor. Um, so, quickly make some bandages. I'm pretty far away from the healing machine. Uh, you could use your healing machine here um, because I don't have enough fun to fill up the gun and I don't really need that much fun anymore in this game. So just quickly making these bandages, thinking about um, where to make armor. The gas is coming in so I want to go a bit close to the middle so I have more time. It's a red barrel over there but I don't have enough to fill up the gun otherwise I would have. So I'm looking around for sticks here. Now there's one by the tree. I actually don't see um, any anyone else. Like any more sticks. There's a ton for down there, but that, that's not a stick. Even though you could probably break off the handle and then use it as a stick, but so just craft. Just trying to make uh, some armor here, and then we hear some steps. And yeah, we hear him in the water. Um, so a guy approaching me, so I'll take the fight out. I try to shoot him, hit him once, so he got some a bleed on him. Now this guy actually has a stem and a stim on him. You can see the yellow outline on him and you can see it on, on the buff. So um, the first few hits is not going to steal some stamina. Um, but the next hits here you can see how he's going to go down. Every time I hit him. Now, um, he actually has the same spec. Uh, he definitely has submission. I don't know what his other perks are. Um, but every time he hits me, I lose stamina as well. But remember, I have recovery to cover that. So I actually have like 20 more stamina with him. Even though he had, um, he had the, you know, the, the lead on the stamina war, if you want to say that, because he had the stim. Um, I actually got on to zero, and I still have 20 left. Might be because I have a better weapon. But we easily take that kill, and now we now I'm thinking, all right, I need to heal him again. God damn it! I also need some armor, and the gas is coming in, so I can't uh, do it here uh, anymore. Now I actually missed a med kit on that guy. He had a med kit on him, which I didn't see. Um, see if you can see it. Oh, okay, I guess now you can. But if you want to go back a little bit, see if you can find it. But I didn't see that in the in the in the heat of the moment. There's three people left. I got four kills. Another guy got three kills. And the guy with the three kills is probably a good player. You know, getting three kills is is uh, is not the easiest thing in the, this game. Um, so I'm just taking a knee, listening out. Don't hear anyone. Don't see anyone. So I start making some more bandages to get my armor in order to be more tanky and you know, just make the world easier. Not crafting. Crafting's just gone really loud in this game, so people can hear that easily. Like if you're in the middle, you'll easily hear me craft this. Two hits with the sledgehammer gets a rock. That is such a nice feeling. Always, always try and jump when you do like mid hits, uh, stims, and uh, armor up because when you do that. Um, you can do it mid-air, it's, it's harder to hit you and it's going to be harder to cancel your your armor or whatever. So I see the guy, I shoot an arrow at him, I hide behind a tree because I don't, I don't want him to know where I am. Because I actually don't that many arrows. So I'm just listening out. 
And I decided to shoot him. Hit him once. Hit him twice. So you should have hit him another time, but he's hiding. And I hear his gun. And you can hear that click. So I into this orange juice and just rush him. Because he didn't reload his gun. Either he had no ammo, he forgot to reload it. In this case, he forgot to reload it. So you had to do it like mid fight while I was rushing him with orange juice and just sledgehammer. Yeah, good luck with that. So now it's the final two. I got a man tracker so I can find him easily. I got enough funk to open this blue, so I'm, I'm just gonna do that for the sake of it. Maybe I get something good. Uh, I got a, a little knife which I can just throw, I guess. And uh, there's a little cheeky claymore there. Uh, but I wanna, I wanna rush this guy with um, with my orange juice up before it goes away because this is when I'm strongest. I mean, what? Like, if a guy with a sledgehammer and orange juice is not scary, I don't know what it is in this game. Uh, so I'm just rushing him here. He tries to shoot me. I miss my hits. That's actually pretty bad on me. And he pulls out an SMG all of a sudden. Um, and uh, I was a little bit too close for that. So we gotta pay that. I missed all my shots there, but I'm a terrible shooter. And you can see he's really low health now, so this should be an easy kill. I miss my hit again because he's just jumping around. And then I just, I just throw my stretch on his face in and pulls, pulls the victory in. So uh, that's the submission spec uh, for you guys. Uh, leave a like if you want. Uh, leave a comment for some feedback. Um, watch my stream on Feverish TV. As you can see, Twitch, Twitch.tv slash Feverish TV. And um, catch me when I'm live streaming. That's, uh, that's about it for now. Have a good one.